Hey, I'm Mark Tillerson at Tillerson Consulting, um, and in this series of videos, uh, we're talking about Google Merchant Center issues, uh, disapproved products, and in this particular video, we're focused on the error image too small. So what does that mean? I'm quite obvious, but what does that mean? What causes that to happen? And how do we fix that image too small problem? So as usual with our videos, um, please do comment. We love to hear from you. If you're having other issues with your feed, with your data, things getting disapproved, please comment and we'll try and help you out. If this did uh, help you, I would really appreciate a thumbs up and make sure you subscribe for more videos on Google Merchant Center. So uh, the issue with the, this video today, what we're focusing on is this image too small. So use an image that is at least 100 by 100 pixels for non-clothing products and 250 by 250 pixels for clothing products. So if we look at that, we will see that this is the issue. Google is saying basically it's too small and they can't be larger than 16 megs, so that will be too big and don't scale up images or submit thumbnails. So basically that's what's happening. So let's look at uh, this one example we have on this particular website. If we look at this here, the interesting thing is we can see when this product was created, we can see when this was crawled. So this was crawled on the 25th of April 2017, which is like more than five years ago now. So Google's just not really got to it. Some other issues we won't go into. But if we then open this image, what we can see is that it's just tiny. It's just not high enough quality to show on uh, Google Ads. So that's why it's kind of having a bit of a moan at us saying your image is too small. So how do we fix this image too small issue? So what's happening here is remember how this product is uh, or this data is created typically there are a number of different ways to do this but typically as in this case we have a website an e-commerce store it has a whole bunch of data in a database about our products it has a product URL an image URL it has a price it has a product category it has a title it has a description it has all of those things okay that data is basically exported every evening into a feed that feed uh, exports uh, basically updates every evening let's say at 2 a.m. and then Merchant Center is set to go and pick that feed up and recrawl it at 3 a.m. and pull that data in so uh, that's what should happen if you don't have that in place then I would recommend that you do and then trace back to make sure number one your settings in Merchant Center are to go and collect that feed uh, every 24 hours maybe at 3 a.m. and make sure that the data is being output from your website and refreshed every 24 hours maybe at 2 a.m. and then of course make sure your data on your website is kept up to date as well and then everything should flow through so this issue actually if we go back in via the data in here where is this URL coming from so here's our final URL okay and that's the one that's too small we know that so where is that coming in so if we look in here we can see it's coming in in this feed and we've got an image URL which is identical so the root cause of this problem um, is the image itself but where it's coming from is the feed so it's the data in our feed which is causing that problem so the number one solution is go and update your feed to make sure that you are using an image which fulfills that those guidelines so a minimum of 100 by 100 pixels maybe 200 by 200 is where you want to head and make sure that the image that you are including in that feed is big enough to fulfill the guidelines and that will fix the image too small issue uh, there are a few other ways that you could do that so the way that Google's kind of suggesting here is that you basically uh, here we go we could just add an image and upload it directly to Merchant Center so that's number one that's nice and easy it's a quick fix there are some issues with that which I'll come on to the second is that we provide a different image link so if you were to head to this website there is a bigger version of this image so effectively what's being output is a thumbnail is too small there's a full-size version of that image actually we could use and we could just put the image URL in here and apply that so upload or give it a different URL and apply it and that will be great and it'll be fixed okay the other method of doing it is using a supplemental feed so you could create a text file or my preferred option is a Google sheet and then you add a supplemental feed and in that sheet you just list the item IDs and then in this case you would this then just say okay here's the item ID and then here is the attribute that I want to change which is the image URL and then effectively what happens your data comes in via your feed your supplemental feed then overwrites it in the same way that this method would also overwrite that data 
data coming from your feed okay so any of those three methods will work and it will fix the problem however supplementing or augmenting your data is filled with potential issues so I would always 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 advocate that you have the data coming from your website being correct because if there is an issue then that's the only place that it can be merchant center or the data in your feed or the data itself in the website okay so there's only kind of two or three places that could be if you start augmenting this data then you're going to get into a lot of pain potentially later on when there's an issue and you think well hang on a minute I'm looking at my feed and the data is correct what what's happening the data is correct on the website data is correct in the feed but merchant centers getting really confused why is that so let's say for example you fix this now by giving it a new image link or a supplemental feed or using this upload image and then six months from now you have updated the image for this product on the website so now we fix the problem in the feed the problem is your supplemental data here is overwriting your new fix so now it's not you've created this wonderful new photography lovely new image that's much more clickable would increase your click-through rate it's wonderful it's fantastic but your fix is being overwritten by your earlier fix with this augmented data so generally I would avoid those methods if you possibly can if you don't care or you just want a quick fix and move on then this is the quick fix method just upload an image or give it a different image URL and it will solve that problem that's the quick fix but it could easily cause you some pain later on trying to unpick this tangled web and if you've had multiple people or multiple Google shopping agencies kind of working on this you've now got data coming from your feed from your website maybe your SEO guys are working on that you've then got maybe someone historically has provided new image links on here someone else has uploaded images for different products someone else has created a supplemental feed and now we've got a thousand products on our website some have got supplemental images here some have got products up uh, images uploaded here some are with a supplemental feed there's conflicts all over the place so I would urge you to standardize if you are going to augment the data and only use one method and ideally don't supplement or augment that data at all fix it in the source fix it in the website fix it in the output feed and it will save you a whole heap of pain later on um, and if this did save you some pain and solve your problem really appreciate a thumbs up on the video um, please comment and subscribe for more